Hi everyone and welcome to part 2 of my mini dishwasher series and today I'm going to give you a review on this mini dishwasher that I got off uh, Taobao or AliExpress Okay, uh, this one, it doesn't have a brand to it so if you see a similar picture, they come in different brands, it's pretty much the same thing Okay, and I've been using this for a week and I'll share some thoughts uh, on my experience Now, before I get into it do give me a like, subscribe down below, and uh, at the end of the video, you can leave a comment uh, if you want to ask any questions. So, um, first off, it is a metal construction, and I think that's quite quite nice to have. Uh, inside is plastic, and the door seems, you know, quite of an acceptable quality. Uh, they, it, co it comes with one tray, one level only, and on the inside, uh, there is only one uh, spinning jet. It doesn't have a spinning jet on top and it only comes with one tray. Uh, with this tray, uh, the, the cutlery basket is fixed. So, you know, if I had a full set of, you know, uh, let's say it says it can uh, hold six, uh, six sets, six dinner sets. But as you can see, I have four here, you know, four spoons and four forks. And they're already lying on top of each other. Um, right there in the tray. This is not very good as you know the water jets can't get into it. You want something that is you know standing up so that it's separated nicely and the jets can get at each individual piece of cutlery. So this to me is not it's not really good. Uh, if you want to get one make sure it has a separate cutlery basket where the cutlery is all standing up. The second thing is uh, these gaps that you see over here these are quite big and if I had uh, a plate like that because it's so big it kind of obstructs the spinning arm and you know halfway through the uh, the wash cycle the arm gets jammed you know beneath the plates right there so that's not really good the small plates will have to come here but you know if I'm gonna put the plates here you see they tilt down quite far and kind of fall over on each other so that's not very good uh, that's the disadvantage of it but I you know for 300 bucks oh, uh, what, what am I going to expect you know um, okay there's uh, some modes over here at the bottom it says here cavity cleaning so I that clean the whole uh, dishwasher with cold water and for the dishes option there's fast standard and strong so fast is a 30 minute cycle standard is a 40 minute cycle and strong is a 50 minute cycle Although online it says hot air drying, there is no hot air blower in this thing, you know, so I, I, I do feel a bit cheated. What they mean by hot air drying is that it air dries, okay? So once it's finished washing, what I'm supposed to do is crack it open, open slightly, you know, something like that, and, and let, let it dry with the residual heat, which makes no sense. You know, even my baby's bottle washer has a hair dryer function. This, this doesn't have that. But does it clean dishes? That's the most important thing. Does it clean dishes? So today, I'm going to stress test this thing. So first off, I've got sweet Thai chili sauce. Now, I've dirtied all these dishes. I've left them out to dry for about two, three hours. So they're nice and caked on. All right. This is sweet Thai chili sauce. That goes in, okay? Um, when you're using a dishwasher, you want your dishes to face downwards to, to, the, uh, to the jets. Then, I have butter. So I smeared a block of butter on, the, on this plate and left it out to dry as well. Okay? Next contender, what we all have? Fried rice. Uh, fried rice, rice in general, I let it dry so it's nice and hard on the, on, on, on the plate. Uh, the manufacturer or dishwashers in general, they suggest that you scrape off all the solids. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to scrape off all of this stuff. Uh, just not a lot of effort. I'm just going to sc scrape off as much as I can. Okay. So that... that that's a general scraping. I'm gonna put that in there. And then, 
Okay. Last but not least, this, my friends, is molten sugar. So, I you know, I don't think we do this, but just to uh, to stress test this thing and see how well it does. I've got molten sugar. Look at that. It's hard. It's dry. It's it can't be scraped off. So this would really test the strength of the machine. I'm gonna put that in there, um, making sure there's enough space between all the dishes. Okay, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Now the uh, the instructions. Uh, the machine does not come with a compartment for dishwashing liquid or fluid. And being a small dishwasher, I don't think it's worth it using one whole tablet. You know, you can get those pack of twenty, and one pack of twenty is like fifteen dollars. So you're paying about seventy seventy cents a tablet. I got this for about ten bucks. Uh, it's one kilo, and you only need half a cap full. So I'm going to put half a cap. Half a capful of uh, detergent, and since there's no uh, compartment, you know, I'm, I'm, I think we just chuck it in like that, okay? And we close the machine, turn it on. I'm gonna give this a running shot, so I'm not gonna use fast, but. I'm not gonna let it cheat, so I'm not gonna use strong. I'm just gonna use the default standard mode. 40 minutes of washing, 70 degrees Celsius, and we'll come back and we'll see how it does. No, it looks like it's doing something. Okay, we are back here again. Uh, it's been 40 minutes and it's still going. It's supposed to run for 40 minutes, but the timer now says 13 minutes, 12 minutes. So, I don't know what's up. Maybe time runs differently in this machine. But, yeah, it's running for more than 40 minutes. Uh, I'll keep it going. Uh, some, some machines come with uh, a kind of, how much you put it, a uh, plate cleanliness detector. So, um... What it does, it detects how clean the water is after rinsing and it will decide whether or not it will continue washing. I don't think this machine has something like that. It does say it on the description, on the product description, but the product description said a lot of things and it doesn't have those things. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, the important thing is to see whether the plates are clean at the end of the cycle. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's finally done. Uh, let's open her up and see, see what the plates look like. Alright, so for a start, you can see, you can see it dripping uh, onto my floor, onto my counter. So, you know, that's not really too good. But as soon as you lift it up, there is this groove here and the water just flows down and around and back into the uh, the dishwasher. So first plate, this is the one with the sugar on it. Look, it's clean. There's no more sugar on, on the plate. Next one, this is the one with the rice. Okay, apart from a bit of rice just that didn't get blown off the machine. Okay, the plate's clean. Look, this is the one, the rice that has been smeared on. Right? It's, uh, it's really clean. This is the one with the butter. Yeah, the plate is not oily. It's squeaky clean. And last but not least, it's the one with the sweet Thai chili sauce. There you go. So, you know, this, the plates are all clean and the cool thing is, as soon as I took them out, uh, because they are warm, you know, I didn't need to wipe them, they're dry already, so there's no drips. Uh, I guess that's what they mean by air drying, you don't need a circulator 
to, to dry the air, but a circulator will be nice to dry the rest of the, uh, the machine down. So, I think that's pretty good. Um, the plates do come out clean. Aside from the little things like the placement of the plates, you know, uh, this fixed cutlery tray which can hardly fit anything, for the price that I paid for it, it does its job. And uh, will I keep it? Will I continue to use it? Yeah, I will. Um, I have been using it for a week already since since my last video. Uh, it does do for a small family. It's just me. Uh, it's my wife, and I got two kids. It fits our needs. I don't I don't need one that's as big as the washing machine. This does the job. Uh, the bigger pots, you know, um, I've got a I've got a giant wok and nah <laughs> it won't take the big walk you need a bigger machine for that but you know for a saucepan it goes in right it goes in fine a few dishes it, 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 it fits our needs uh, for a small house a small family it's it's a one uh, a one meal dishwasher it's not one of those that you stack up throughout the day and you give everything a wash at the same time. But yeah, it does the job. Um, a few things that, you know, I I did wish that it didn't drip, drip and uh, I wish it came with uh, a stackable cutlery tray. But I think once this thing, you know, I don't expect it to last very long. I give it a year or two at least. If it lasts more than that, it's a bonus. But you know, uh, probably if I've been using it every day for a year or two, I get my money back on, on the investment. And then I'll go ahead and buy a more expensive one to replace this that I got. Uh, it's more like I bought it just to see if I would use it. And I have been using it every day. So that's a, a plus point. You know, if you want to think, you know, you want to see if you are going to use a dishwasher, you're not sure, just buy one, a small one. Uh, any, anyone will do and see if you use it. If you don't, then you probably won't use a massive uh, built-in dishwasher. But if you do, then probably it's worth the investment. Yep, uh, on that note, do give me a like, share, and of course, subscribe as always. The next one will be about my, um, where is it? The next video will be about this ultrasonic dishwasher and does it work? $20, 300 bucks, you know? Does this thing actually work? And if it does, how good is it actually? Stay tuned to find out. And for now, take care.